Hello, Bendeheads. My name is Awad Rich and I'm speaking to you from Argentina. In the, next, in the next five minutes, in this quick video tip, we're going to see how to build this uh, net. As you can see here, we have a simple empty to control some kind of brick on the net. But let's begin with the tutorial and see how this was done. This is the, uh, the way A to build this net. I'm going to do a second video about this. You can watch it in Spanish if you want, if you like. Uh, first, we are, we are going to add a plane, which we are going to subdivide a few times. Uh, now, I don't like this square, a squarish uh, grid. I like to have a diagonal one to build my net. So I'm going to add a decimate, a decimate modifier. And I'm going to take uh, iterations based on answer division. But instead of uh, giving it two, I'm going to give it only one iteration, and this give uh, this um, not a pair, uh, say an even number, one instead of two, give us this uh, beautiful uh, diagonal uh, pattern. So I want to subdivide one more. Okay, here we go. Once I had my decimate uh, applied, I select the four uh, the four corners, create a, gr a new group, and assign the corners to the group. Now, Control H to add a hook to these four um, vertex, and you can see that I can move the vertex uh, with this hook. This is going to come handy in a few seconds. Now we're going to take uh, our plane. And we're going to add some cloth dynamics to it. And the cloth falls. It falls because it was not pinning. And uh, now I, t uh, I tick pinning. And I change this group name to um, uh, points. And now set the pinning group point. Now the cloth it's pinned to those four vertex that I have uh, assigned to this point group. I'm going to play a bit more with these uh, parameters. Here, 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 probably. Maybe less, less. Here we go. Okay, more or less our uh, net is done. Uh, our, see, our net is done, but uh, it still uh, looks as a subdivided plane. The last step to have our net is to add a wireframe modifier. And now uh, all our uh, edges are converted to uh, this kind of square, a squarish mesh which gives some volume and this uh, net appearance. And this is it. Quick tip and simple and you have our web. The only problem that you can find with this uh, technique is that the um, triangle, tri triangle modifier may do some weird points, weird edges when it's when you force it too much. I want to see if I can force this a bit. But you may see some sticks going around or popping around if you force this too much. But uh, there you go. I don't know if you can see that, but <laughs> also you can see that I am force I am going with this too 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 far away and this is it this is how you do uh, one way to do a net inside blender and see you in the in the, ne in the next one bye